Hi there, it's Phil Winks here today and I'm going to tell you today about a product that I use and have been using daily for the last three years and I think it's one of the most productivity enhancing products that I've been using on my Mac. Now the requirement is that you have a spare iPad for this application to run on because it links your iPad to your computers and allows you to use the iPad as a number pad for when you're typing in figures, maybe into numbers or Excel, whichever of those you prefer. And it also more powerfully allows you to use the iPad as a button changer so that you can assign key commands to the buttons. It's incredibly customizable and I'm amazed that the developer has not been able to market this better and that the price is so low. Once you see what you can do with this product, you will be amazed at it and I hope you go off and purchase it. One of the things about having an I, uh, a Mac at all, of any description, is that you have a keyboard. Hopefully that will come into focus. And if you've got a keyboard like this one, you'll see that the numbers that you would type in are just along this row here. There's no additional area to this side where you'd commonly have your keypad one to nine and for, for entering figures. So one of the great things is that you can allow to, that to be added to your iPhone or your iPad. And so long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network, you will be able to use your iPad for that purpose. So let's quickly show you what you are going to be having a look at for this service. It's called Remote Keypad and NumPad Pro. And what you'll be able to do, and if I just scroll up here, you can see that there's a keyboard here. Now, this is where I think the, the marketing goes a little bit wrong because it's a very boring blue color here. And as, as you'll see by my keypad, in fact, I'll bring it up on the screen now, you can put in any colors you want for the buttons and you make them bigger if you want to. So this is the keypad that I'll be using and uh, the numbers are just there. So you get a good idea of how flexible the whole system is. You can create custom keypads for professional tools and productivity. So when you're using something like any of the Adobe suite or any creative application, if you find it hard to remember any of the key commands or all of the key commands that you might want to use, then this application is brilliant because you can assign your complete key commands that you use mostly to a button and then all you have to do is look at your iPad and touch the button and it will produce whatever it is that your key command requires. You can launch applications as well as do many other things. Everything depends on there being keyboard shortcuts for this application but because of that, it opens itself up to a wealth of opportunities. I'm going to be producing several videos relating to this software. So today's is simply a nice introduction to the software. I'll show you in subsequent videos how to program everything and really get the most use out of it on an application specific basis if you require. So in the comments, please leave it about which applications you'd like to use this keypad with and uh, I'll see if I can cover some of those for you. So we'll move and have a quick look at the number pad itself. Now what you're seeing here is a version or is, is an exact replica of my iPad version of the software. So you can see that there is a number of keys there. I'll go through some of these right now with you so that you get a good idea of, of what you're actually looking at. This indicates that I can connect this software through the iPad to any computer on my network. So here I've got my Mac Studio. You'll see later on that I could actually choose either my MacBook Pro or my iPad. These are the keyboards that are programmed in. So this one relates to the numerical keyboard that you're now looking at. And 
you can already gauge at how useful this might be because you can see that not only have we got numbers on this keyboard, we've got the ability to tab, we can add a space, we can click on return, we can undo, we can delete both ways, both backwards and forwards. There is a sum button which relates to put typing in sum and then the brackets and if anybody uses Excel or Google Sheets or numbers that you will know how useful that is. That's just a special key so you can put in any key that you like that happens to enter a colon for me and then you've got um, programmed keys for the up and down arrows. I can type in a date automatically by hitting that date button and then we've got cut copy and paste which is absolutely amazing all on the same single keyboard and then this last button here is the secret not secret button for typing in my computer password so you can program a button with your computer password so you can just hit that whenever you need to log in or whenever an application needs to be uh, installed, you can just touch that button and it will type in the password that's hidden underneath the button for you. So let's have a look at the live iPad. So I've got a camera actually filming my iPad as it is. So this is it here right in front of you and it exactly replicates the iPad screen that I was showing you earlier on. So my keyboard is just to the uh, right hand side of this and what we'll do is I'll be showing you a little inset of this keyboard so you can see me pressing the buttons but that relates very quickly and you should be able to see exactly the same thing happening on the uh, iPad view that I've got there so it just gives you a bit of a clearer view of what we're actually going to be pressing. So let's um, move on and I'll show you a few things that you can do. We'll jump onto a scene where I've got several things going on so let me just make it very clear to you what is where. This whole scene here is a screen share from my Mac. We've got the live iPad view here so I'll just wave my fingers in front of that now and we've got the iPad screen in a much clearer view just in case this doesn't really look very good and you can see what I'm pressing on here though you won't see my fingers in this view so they are labeled this is the live iPad this is the iPad screen and this is the screen share area the first thing I can do is I can on my Mac if I highlight now I'm using of course a, a mouse here because you're still using your mouse and you're using your keyboard because you need to type in letters and you need to use mouse things or your trackpad for whatever you want to use that for. So I'm going to highlight um, these words here and I'm going to click on the copy button on this keyboard. So if I tap copy and then I'll move over to the text edit document that I've got there and if I click on paste then you can see it's pasted that into the document. I've even got a return key on my keypad. And if I touch the return key, you'll see it actually goes dark for a second. That will take me down and I can simply press the paste button. Now, if you have a close look at the paste as I tap it, you'll see it changes color. It just goes a little bit dark to emulate uh, being pressed. So I tap it and then we get a repeat of that and I can return and paste or I can simply keep pressing it to paste in as much as I possibly want to and that's all with one button there's no remembering that it's command V that it's not hard to remember of course command V command X command C for those controls but what you don't have to do is actually remember to do those or do the contortion with your fingers to get to those keys it's all simply the press of a button. Now what I can also do is highlight all of that and hit the delete button. And if I think, well, okay, I've gone wrong, I can actually click on the undo button as well. So that will always allow us to do that if we want to. So that gives you a good idea of some of the simple things that you can do with that. But let's move into a spreadsheet, for instance, and work on, on that. So I can, I think, move into a spreadsheet here. Let's use the keyboard to type in some figures 
in the keyboard. I'll just bring that on the screen for you right now. So that's the screen. I'll just show you the live view as well. Now, just to explain something, the iPad itself, you can see a cable probably just in the screen here. That's only so that I can then provide the screen view that you're seeing here. Um, there's no need otherwise for the iPad to be plugged in at all. It all works over Wi-Fi from the iPad. My computer, just to let you know, is wired to the network, but it would also work if I was using Wi-Fi on the computer as well. So you've got complete freedom with where you want your iPad to be. You can go anywhere uh, without the uh, restriction of a cable. Just in, I mean, this is not going to be hard maths or anything like this, but if I just type in uh, one, two, three, uh, you can see it's very quick. It goes in straight away. There's no delay with this at all. If I tab over to the next window, that works really quickly. And as I tap four, five, six, you can see immediately it comes up on the screen. Let's click on the return on the keypad itself. I'm not touching my keyboard at all at this particular time. And let's type in a uh, sum. So I can use this programmed button, the dark green one with sum. And if I type that, you can see that it comes up with a formula cell. And I can type 12 plus 36. And then I can click on return and it gives me the answer of 48. So you can see how easy this is to use as a keyboard. The other thing that some of you may or may not have really noticed, and I'll bring this um, back onto the screen fully, I think, if I can. So the keys on it are from one, two, three, coming down to all the way to zero. Whereas if you look at most keyboards, they would actually start at, it'd be nine, eight, seven, six five four three two one and zero would be at the bottom there i just like having it this way around so it just shows that you can completely customize the keyboard to whatever you want it to be including things like you can have a special settings i've got this to type in point uh, zero zero for me when i'm typing in a, a figure so I'll use that in a second. I'll just go straight back to that. Let's have a look back at the, um, the screen share. So if I type in a number, so I'm back on the, uh, the numpad screen here. If I type 75 and then hit that button at the bottom with the two zeros, it does that for me. So I don't need to type dot zero zero for that. Um, so that's all really, really good. If you want to see the date functionality, if I type in the DT date button, then that will type the date in for me. So you can see in there, I've not really got enough room for it. So let's just extend that over so you can see exactly the kind of things that you can save all of that time with by using the keypad in this particular way. So it's a really great time saver. If you think that that's useful for you, Keep watching if you're a user of many applications with many shortcuts and you don't want to remember all of your shortcuts or you're repeating things, then this application, Remote Keypad and Numpad Pro, is something you really have to be using. So make sure you watch the uh, follow-up videos for this. I'll be showing you how you program it, how to make it work across different computers, how to program the buttons, there's almost no limit to the number of buttons. You just want to keep them big and usable. It's much more flexible in that sense than something like a Stream Deck. And of course, probably 5% of the price, less than that even. And you can program the buttons to be as big as and small as you like and as many as you can fit on the uh, screen of your tablet or your iPhone. And remember, this is available on the iPhone as well. So I'll show you how to install it, all of that kind of thing, and use it across the next videos. If you'd like to know when they come out, make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment in the comments if you'd like me to cover how you might program keys for a particular application. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed it.